Hello guys, my name is Starx, and today I will be your narrator. We will be looking up to level 13, also known as the apartments. Level classification, difficulty 2 out of 5. Level 13 is structurally sound, although there are potentially hostile entities to the level. Entity count, 3 out of 5. There are many entities in level 13, which many of which are docile if not aggravated. Chaos Gradient, 1 out of 5. Structural anomalies rarely occur, and if they do, they are usually limited to the walls or floor. Facet Fraser Index, 2 out of 5. This level is, compared to the other sections of quantum stable areas, relatively safe. Overall, it is one of the better levels in the quantum fluctuated series and is viewed as an end goal for many wanderers throughout the back rooms. Description The apartment complex of level 13 is a structurally insulated building with an unprecedented amount of interior space, housing a number of rooms beyond the scale of the complex's exterior. Large, but by no means infinite, the level has been roughly mapped out over time and physically st stretches into a multi-floored complex of long hallways, room clusters, and dark entity-infested corridors, appearing to be intelligently, intelligently designed. The complex contains replenishing food and resources making it a highly contested location to settle down and colonize. Low-end estimates suggest a few thousand people could comfortably live here. High-end estimates suggest Level 13 has the physical space to sustain a colony of well over 100,000 individuals if, if thoroughly managed and supported by the connecting levels. However, due to casualties from the entity's nest and frequent conflicts occurring over the ownership of level 13. These population estimates are only suited for exercises of thought and little more. Rarely does the complex boost to over several hundred residents at a time. Curiously enough, the apartment complex of level 13 can be thought of a system hub due to its connection to other levels. When within level 13, stairs are preferred when moving between stories since the elevators reach deep into the backroom systems and it can take you to a number of other levels. This fascinating and extremely useful transport between, level between other levels has added to the complexity of the ownership of the complex. Reliable intra-level transport can be regulated and escorted. A concept may envious spring gas are act are actively aware of this. It is not uncommon for the ownership of the housing and elevators of level thirteen to trade hands, most often by force at the hands of small militarized groups of raiders. <laughs> Honestly, 9 times out of 10, these guys are a bunch of cranked up wackos, thirsty for some violence, hungry for a scrap of food. They are gonna take this level, discovery, discover just how big it is, figure out how that they can't hold it and tear themselves apart as they realize the only people that to fight is each other. It happens every time. Go to level 14, grab some buddies, wait for a few days to go back and clean it up. Raider shit stains. Never expect the UNCB boys to come back and take what's ours from Scums of the outskirts. That's just how level 13 is anyway. And always will be. Tonys and outposts. Victor. I have no idea how to say that. UNCB citizen. Residents of level 13 are 
on the grid with access to resource of precursor terminal within the level situated in a room calling Colisquacy known as the lobby, which also houses an entity better known as the receptionist. The receptionist is a docile and mostly unresponsive humanoid creature, only interacting with wanderers when handling out keys to the many rooms in the apartment. <laughs> New residents and are encouraged to seek out the lobby when they arrive. It's a harmless ritual to sign your name into the terminal and ask the receptionist for a room. Anomalies While the physical layout of a 13 never changes, the interior hallways and rooms are sometimes subject to what settlers often call glitches, which are periods where the floor and walls may fluctuate in their material composition. Examples of these anomalies might swap a, a carpeted floor with an assorted bit of uncovered wooden beams or metal grating. Standard drywall or hallways may dissolve into bathroom tiles or cheap metal tunnels and patches of just an unstable grit. So the nature, the nature, cause. And immediate effects of these anomalies are yet to be determined, although they have been deemed as minor inconveniences and not much else. In areas where an anomaly has deteriorated the components of the level, settlers are advised to avoid and instead travel through more stable locations. Over time, these affected areas revert to the original state with no apartment res residual effects. Communities. As of writing, the complex of level 13 is under the ownership of a UMBC aligned citizen colony of approximately 55 members. They are working with groups on level 1, 4, 5, and 14, moving citizens, material, and supply chains via the elevators for trading purposes, entrances, and exits. Entrances. The other can, can be entered in three ways. It can be entered through various apartment buildings found on level 12, or can be entered through no clipping in level 11. Certain elevators found on level 14 can also access level 13. Exits. You can exit by in, you can exit level 13 by entering an elevator found at the end of the hall of any hallway. This can take you to level 14 or level 4. Level 13 can also be exited by entering the lobby and leaving with a pair of bronze doors in the room. This will take you to level 12, exiting through a random apartment building. 